Hello, YouTube and everyone, simulators, um, simmers, as it were, uh, viewers, you know, fellow subscribers of the British Locomotive Studios YouTube channel. I am Samuel Beeman here and doing another review, another train sim review for my train sim review series. And we have something special for you here today. Okay, so here we have something called the virtual Bakerloo underground line the yes virtual Bakerloo line and uh, I guess you could say that it is a um, in, in some ways related to uh, yeah train sim world 2 so here we have it the virtual Bakerloo line basically this was created by somebody called Mike of Mike simulations uh, he was developing a game uh, using the same sort of uh, tools and engine that Train Sim World uses, and yeah, let's 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 go into the game and take a look at it. Okay, so as we see, we've got some a uh, few AI businessmen walking into the underground loco. So this is Elephant and Castle, as we can see here. We've got some nice uh, like uh, benches and bits and pieces. It's all looking quite nice actually. I really like this. Oh, can we walk out here? Oh, we can. Look at this. We can go along the tunnels. This is interesting, isn't it? Does it actually take us out and onto the streets of London? That would be cool, wouldn't it? Yeah, okay, so this was developed by somebody called Mike Simulations. Oh, it heads us to another platform. Look at that. It's not really any track texture in there, or it looks like it's obviously it's, it's a work in progress. So this is a um, demo, as it were, of his game. So, uh, and basically, it is now a discontinued game as he stated on his uh, Facebook site. I, I was doing some rev uh, some sort of research on this because I didn't actually know this was being made. But he's actually been making this for about nine months now, which is really interesting. And, uh, yeah, so this is... Um uh, yeah, so this is his game, and he was going to make a whole game of this. And to be honest with you, Mike, I would advise you to continue this, because you could make it as something quite interesting. Um, you can make it have unlockables and bits and pieces like that. Maybe you can get some new trains on the route or something, and have some unlockable trains and bits and pieces like that. So you can actually make it into a game, a, a decent game, if you want. You don't have to, um, you know, get all... You know, because I know the reason he said that he was um, ending this was because DTG are going to be releasing the Bakerloo line on Trains in World 2. And obviously, as he said, he can't compete with them. But it doesn't necessarily have to be such a competition, I'll say. So, Mike, you know, uh, don't give up on it. I mean, you've done this work for, for, lot, for a long time. You know, it's your life's work. It's, it's, it's something you wanted to bring to us. So why not continue it? You know, it doesn't really necessarily matter if another developer has started developing the same route. Because, you know, why not continue it? Anyway, so this is uh, the 1972 stock. We have... Uh, actually, can you... F? Is it F for flashlight? Or, no, C is crouch. L. Oh, look at that. If we press L, we've got lights, so we can have a look. Unfortunately, it doesn't look like the saloon lighting has been modelled into the game yet. Um, so what do we have here? Okay, so we have um, the two developers that have obviously developed this uh, game. Uh, we've got Toasty and Mike Simulation there. Uh, we also have all these, we have really nice texture in here. We have the route map of the Bakerloo line here, as you can see, going from, uh, so we're at Elephant in the Castle, which is down that end, and we head down to uh, Harrow and Wildstone, but I don't think that that's actually been modelled in this version of the game because it's very, like I say, it's like a beta stage, it's not complete, and it never will be complete, apparently, according to Mike, but here we have it, Elephant and Castle... So this is the player driving one. It's, it's, it's all sort of the same as TSW. The way it works is all W, S, A and Z as the controls we're moving about. We also have like the shine at the top there, which is obviously sort of very TS worldy. Um, so yeah, so he sort of designed it just like to train sim world really. Can we sit in the chairs? No, apparently not in a minute. Fair enough. Let's head in up the train into our cab. Oh, this is nice, isn't it? So we have a nice sort of cab here. Can we turn the light on? Oh, oh Christ. Yeah, so it's very batery stage, but there we are. So, oh, okay, we can't drive it from this end, so I imagine that we have to go to the other end to drive it. 
And we have a nice sort of texturing on the roof there, just like the tube is in reality. We have sort of, you know, the crossovers and bits and pieces, which is all very nice. So yes, we've got to go around down to this end, I'm guessing. Ah, this is the end. Ah, yes, look. So this is our front end of our loco. We have the Harrow and Wildstone sign, Wildstone. Uh, so, you know, uh, information board there. Let's have the numbering 3553 on the front of the loco there. We have the nice sort of flush front at the end here with the two lights either side. We have a nice sort of Baker Lou line logo across there, and we have service number 121, which is written on there. You have the coupling down the bottom there, and we have track texture in here with all the, uh, the appropriate. Um, circular I don't know what these circular things are for Does anyone know what these circular things are for just let us know in the comments because we've got the third rail on the other side there so it's a free rail I wonder if you jump down on here you'd die <laughs> what what a stupid what, 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 what would I think that anyway yeah so we've got the, sh the nice shine on the on the front of the loco there which is really nice so let's go and take a look inside oh this has saloon lighting it's quite nice here. Well, so I take it it's been lit up by the station itself. Fair enough. Oh, we've got... That's nice. We've got sound effects on our, on our, on our doors there. We've got uh, a London tube map, which is really nice. It's quite cool, isn't it? Oh, Christ. Oh, jeez. So it's literally like Train Sim World. It's, this, I guess we could, we could say that this is the preview of what we're getting. You know, this, this is sort of what we're going to get in the TSW2 Bakerloo line. But yeah, anyhow, let's sit in our chair and get started. So I've never driven a tube train before, so I don't know what all of this really does. So I'm guessing, ah, okay, so that's our forward gear. Do we have a HUD? Oh, I'm guessing not. It's, it's a demo, we don't have a HUD. So we've just got to uh, sort of see how we go with this. Is space bar the whistle? No, uh... So what's the whistle? Oh, there we are. Huh, so we have a, we have a nice uh, horn there, which works fine. So well, I guess that we're in forward now, so we can get going. Usually we have to depress. Do we have to press that? So how do we? Rotate handle. Call. F to do the deaf man's handle. Okay, so dead man's hand F. So somebody tell me how you're supposed to do this. How do you do this? <laughs> I don't know how to drive. <laughs> how am I supposed to drive here? Um, C V V is for the usually for the. E. Oh, he's getting up. Sit down. So how are you supposed to... I haven't looked at the manual for this, I must admit, so I don't know exactly how to run the loco. Um, so we have to, usually we have to press the thing down. So master key, what is that usually? E, is it? No, it's not E. U. P, power. What's K do? Saloon lighting, nice. Okay, instrument lights, B, C. Oh, X does our wipers, look at that. There we are. That's cool, isn't it? Even makes, makes a nice sound, doesn't it? W the first, so what is. Ah, does it the brake controls that do it? Need to press the dead man's handle down. How'd you do it? Come on! There's got to be a way of doing this. Z. No. J. G. Come on. Oh, that's our lights. Did that just close our doors? Oh, two. Oh. We just closed our doors. How cool is that? 
How do we open our doors is the question. Oh, sit in the seat. How do we open our doors? Controls, let's have a look. H whistle. Ah, okay, so close left, so yeah, so we're on the left side. So Y is to close the left hand side doors to open um So how do we open right passenger doors, open left passenger doors with T and U together? Ah, tab is to release the dead man's handle. Okay, so let's do this. How do we get out of this? Okay, there we are. We do tab. Ah, yes, there we go. We're sorted. Let's go. Should we need this? Yeah, saloon lighting's on, isn't it? Yeah, okay, cool. Let's go. Oh sh I think we're going the wrong way. So what oh, this is really confusing, okay so is that forward? What's forward position? Oh, this is going great, this is. Is that forward? Come on, it's got to be forward. How do you get the cab lights on? <laughs> oh, this is going great, this is. Um, there's no cab lighting. There's no cab... So I'll take... Oh, I have an idea. I have an idea. We'll get up and we'll... Um, We'll turn our our torch on. Oh, okay then. Okay, so we can't. Oh Christ. Okay, so I'm driving in complete darkness. <laughs> well, it sounds quite nice though, I guess. I, uh, this is scary. This is actually scary. I don't know what's coming up. I can't see. I'm scared. But we're going somewhere. <laughs> oh. oh, Jesus. Okay. We found ourselves a station. We've got a light. <laughs> So how do we open our doors again? I believe it's is it is it Y and O together? T and O. Oh, I need to keep looking at the controls. T and U together. And our doors are open. Oh, just. Being a things being paying, all right. Um, why to close the doors? Oh my god, I just realized we're back at Elephant and Castle again. Is that it then? Do we just go around in a circle? Okay, so there you have it. <laughs> There you have it, ladies and gentlemen. That is the virtual Bakerloo line. Uh, yes, yeah, so there's 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 three different versions of this um, this demo we can play. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to the random world uh, route and uh, we'll have a look at that to check out.
Okay, so I'll be back in just a second and we'll head over to the random world route to play. Okay, here we are again on the virtual Bakerloo line, as it were, um, by Mike Simulations. So this is the demo world route. The question is, what train do we select to drive? Well, this one appears to be leaving. Okay, this one's going. Let's watch this depart, shall we? Some AI trains, as it were. There it goes. Fantastic. That's what we got here. Did, did I see a bird flying? Oh, we've got waving trees with the wind. I mean, they look, they look, they look like blobs, but they're they're there and they're waving with the with the wind. That's good. Oh, we got birds. Look at that. Oh, we like some of that. We have got birds. Good. Right, okay, so let's get in our train and uh, depart this unknown station in Purgatory. Here we are. Oh, it's done. There we are. Sit in the seat. Okay, so we can actually see this time. We can probably see what we're driving. Uh, let's lock our doors. Push our dead man's handle down. Set it into forward gear this time. And off we go. I mean, it's good, isn't it? I mean, it's what he's done and what he's achieved. To make a whole new game, it takes a lot to do to make something like this. Get to the station now. There we go. Uh, T and you together to open the doors. Let's have a look outside, shall we? So we're a little bit, um, we should have been in the platform a little bit more, but oh well. Let's have a look down at the track. Yeah, I mean the track's okay, isn't it? We don't, we, we don't die when we touch the light of electricity, but hey hi, there we are. We can walk around, we can get, can we go on the platform? Yeah, so it's literally like a train sim world. It's like someone has been creating a train sim world, but it's an underground sim world. So it's um, yeah. So it's it's. It, I think what Mike has here is is got good potential, and uh, it's, it is a shame that he is uh, quitting it. Uh, but I can kind of see why because he 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 thinks that obviously well DTG obviously he, he can never. Well, he thinks that he can't get to their quality, which is fair enough. But obviously, you know. We have people like the geezer who's doing the rail car simulator, which I'm still yet to get actually, I haven't had a look at that. Uh, and he's made that whole game on his own, and people buy it and people enjoy it, so, you know, why not continue what you're doing, you know? I mean, it is, it's something good, it's something interesting, it'll keep you occupied, it'll, you know, it's, it's an achievement. I mean, to achieve all of this is just, it's gobsmacking really, it's fantastic. 
a nice bit of work. And, and I mean, it's, there, there is potential here with this game. I mean, uh, so yeah, so this is obviously, like I say, 1972 stock. We've got the nice... Uh, it does look nice. And, you know, this is sort of... I suppose we can say that this is sort of what we're going to get in TSW too. The Bakerloo line, which is being released. Uh, we're not going to talk much more about Train Sim World 2 because I tell you what, there is a lot more things I could talk about Train Sim World 2. But, you know, a lot of recent things that DTG have said about it, and obviously I still don't agree with it. I still think it's a really hor a rubbish idea and they should just continue on with Train Sim World 1 and uh, incorporate the things that they're going to do within Train Sim World 2 to Train Sim World 1. But obviously, you know, if you want to see my views and opinions on the Trains in World 2, check out my thoughts and opinions video. Uh, I do. I must warn you. Obviously, as I say, there's some cursing involved, and that's why the why the 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 video is a certain age that you need to be to watch it. But hey ho, it has my thoughts and opinions on there. Okay, so let's continue driving along this uh, demo world and see how far we get. <laughs> that would help. Now I can go. Okay, we've got a slight glitch there with the cab there. I don't know whether that's something because maybe he was trying to incorporate sort of the cab sway effect. And it's just, you know, it's, it's kind of struggling to do that because he hasn't incorporated it properly. But it is a bit of a glitch, isn't it? drives really nicely I must admit this drives really nicely he's done the physics well on this and I really like it there we go I think so we're coming up to this other unknown station like it's the end of our line now I mean I suppose if, if we go off there we'll probably end up crashing off the edge of the track so we can't go any further than this but here we are I mean this was uh, is or uh, was the virtual underground Bakerloo line train simulator from Mike Simulations uh, I mean he has gone to detail I mean we've got the attention warning stickers along the side of the loco there We've got some. Uh, we've got the shoes on the on the bogies there from where of all Christ, uh, for, for for where um, you know where it connects to the third rail. I mean, like, I'm loving the, the 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 wave of the wind on the on the blobby trees there. I mean, it's really nice. I mean, the way the lighting is, it's all very nice. I mean, it does need some work, but as I say, this is a beta. And this is something that he was developing in his own time. And this guy had come together to create this virtual underground uh, Bakerloo line for a train simulator. And it's, it's very nice, actually. And I do like the fact that a lot of, uh, even in Railworks train simulator, I've noticed that there's a lot more underground content, like the virtual district line I've seen around. I haven't tried that yet. Or the, uh, I think there's, a, there's even a Bakerloo line on that one as well, Railworks. So it'll be interesting to see what they're like. But it's, it brings us another, you know, it, it gives us another step into a, the simulation world. It's something different in the sim world. And it's something different that we can enjoy, really. Anyway, so this has been my uh, first look and review on Mike Simulation's beta demo of the virtual Bakerloo line simulator that he's produced. And yeah, and, and as I say, it's such a shame that he is quitting this project, but I can sort of see why he's quitting this project and why he's, you know, he's going on to other things because of the fact that Dovetail Games is going to be releasing it on Trains in World 2. But anyhow, 
Uh, Mike, uh, as I say, continue what you're doing, man. I mean, if you, as you've produced this, why not continue your work and try and produce some sort of simulator? Because, you know, there is other people out there. It's not just Dovetail Games. You, you don't have to just, you know, quit because of them. I mean, there's there's obviously the Diesel Corral Car Simulator Company and other people are making train sims. So why not give it a go? Anyhow, thank you for watching, guys. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. And, yeah, see you guys in the next video. And, obviously, oh, actually, before I go, um, there's been some more releases on UK train sounds. We have a Class 45 Peak Horns pack and a Class 121-122 Horn pack on the DMU diesel multiple unit. Um, oh, we're going to night time now. That's interesting. There's a day and night cycle on this game. That's cool. So, um, yeah, anyway, uh, yeah, so you've got a DMU section on the UK Train Sounds website as well. Also, very soon, on the 18th, I believe, uh, Dovetail Games are going to be releasing the Class 20 for Train Sim World. Uh, my friend Will Braddock, who also owns this YouTube channel, is going to be doing a first look review on that. So we are certainly looking forward to seeing that. And yeah, so thanks to you guys for watching, and I'll speak to you guys soon. Goodbye for now.